Hi to everybody watching. BaseMed Medical Scheme has been helping South Africans, protecting them from the financial impact of life's unexpected events. In these short, informative episodes, we are joined by healthcare professionals helping us navigate through life's daily problems. Today, we're making a splash with water safety and joining me is swim expert, Laurel. Hi, I'm excited to dive into this topic with our moms and dads. Well, thank you so much for being here, Laurel. Um, an important question that I wanted to ask was, at what age do we actually introduce swimming to our kids? Six months is a great age to introduce kids to water and help general water safety. Um, but learn to swim classes usually start from two and a half to three years old. A great way for moms and dads to actually introduce water safety to their kids is during bath time. By just teaching their kids how to put their face in the water, blowing bubbles, also it eliminates that fear aspect when they do start their learn to swim sessions. Oh, okay, so you actually don't need a swimming pool to start with water safety? To start with eliminating fear of water. Ah, oh, okay. Bath time is the perfect tool. Okay, now for parents that have hot tubs, swimming pools, what are the safety hazards we should be looking out for? If you have any private pool or facility that has more than 30 centimeters of water, you need to make sure that it has a childproof fence and also covered with a net or a solid cover. A childproof fence is a fence that a child can't climb over firstly, that's very important. They can't fit their head between the spaces because if their head can fit in, their bodies can definitely fit through and also a latch that they aren't able to undo. So that's very important. Your net and your cover need to be put on by a professional and not just a throw over. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And when we are talking about quick fire habits, good habits for kids to know when they're around water or a pool? Most importantly, that they do not swim alone. You need to have a supervisor watching over your kids. And if they're in the water, it's, you don't be having a conversation. It needs to be somebody that's specifically focused on them and somebody that can swim. That's very important. No running on pool deck. Make sure the weather's perfect. If you can hear thunder, see lightning, don't get into the pool. If you've dropped something into the pool, don't bend over and try to get it. You know, very important is to make sure that there's somebody in the house that has a first aid. Definitely CPR training, that's very important for them. Also hazards around your house can be landscaping features. Um, ponds, dams, bird baths, those are all high risk stuff that is put around the house that people don't really pay attention to and there can be very risks of high risk for kids okay let's chat swimming lessons are they important very important as a parent or a guardian our responsibility is to keep our child our kids safe mm. swimming lessons are where safety starts drowning is the second largest cause for unintentional injuries and death between the age group of one and four years old. And as a parent, it's your responsibility to make sure that you don't put your kid at risk. Apart from the water being so amazing for fitness and fun, you aren't always aware of where water will be. So by having that, you know, peace of mind, by knowing that wherever your child is, that they are able to, you know, be safe around water. It just gives the parents that peace of mind. Well, thank you so much, Laurel and Best Med Medical Scheme for helping us navigate through water safety today. Take a couple of minutes every day with Best Care Tips from Best Med, where you receive medical aid that's personally yours. Mm -hmm.